You could argue that this season had the best amount of drivers in this series. Drivers from the Mercedes, Renault, Ferrari and McLaren driver programs. All vying to be the champion in 2018. But just who would come out on top? The only way to find out is in this video. The F2 season started in the hot climate of Bahrain, where the thrilling and exciting racing began straight away. But already at the first weekend, two drivers would make their mark. Lando Norris and Artem Markalov. With Norris at the time the hot favourite to win the championship. And he certainly started off well with a win in the feature race. With Markalov winning the sprint race. But the racing really ramped up in Baku. As both races featured a fantastic battle for the race win. But it would be George Russell and Alexander Albon coming away with victory. As they now started to put themselves forward as championship contenders. But Rosser would build on that win by winning at the next race at Spain. As he continued in that ART to look stronger and stronger. As the ART team had a great weekend in Spain with Jack Aitken also taking victory. Monaco though saw the championship contenders really all at sea. As both Norris and Russell made key mistakes both in qualifying and the races. Allowing Markolov and Fawoko to take victories in both the feature and sprint races. In France, they would see Russell ride back on form, as he took another victory and continued to pull away from Lando Norris, who was struggling to be consistent up at the top of the field, and was also having trouble with fellow McLaren young driver Nick De Vries, who was starting to improve as the year went on. But in Austria, Russell won again. But the highlight of the weekend was nothing to do with George Russell, it was to do with Artem Markalov who pulled off amazing overtakes to win the race on the Sunday. In what was one of the best ends to a Grand Prix in this series. Silverstone though would see a new surprising winner in Max Gunter. But unfortunately for this highly rated driver this would be his only win. As he went to Formula E at the end of 2018. Then came a brilliant weekend of racing in Hungary. With the best of the action being the feature race on the Saturday held in both wet and dry conditions, and was at the very least one of the best races of the entire season. But at this weekend, Lando Norris would strike back against George Russell in the F2 title race, as going into the summer break, things were now starting to close up once again. At Spa though, we would see a great moment for Nick De Vries, winning at pretty much what is his home track, as he continued to impress in 2018 and showed that he does have the talent to maybe be an F1 in the future. The next two races though would decide who was going to win the title in F2. As first in Italy, George Russell took a massively important win. As Lando Norris despite being very close in the racing there just could not get on terms. But that weekend would see a massively surprising victory in Makino. Winning from outside the top 10 in what was an amazing win. Then in Russia, the championship was effectively decided, and in favour of Russell, who went on to take another victory as Lando Norris retired from both races. Russell's title wasn't confirmed, but it was effectively his. And then in Abu Dhabi, after Alexander Albon stalled on the grid in the feature race, Russell was confirmed as the champion of Formula 2, and he deserved it for being such a consistent and quick driver over 2018 and was clearly the best driver. And this is how the standings looked at the end of the season. Russell wins the title by almost 70 points from Lando Norris, with Albon and De Vries close in 3rd and 4th, and then Artem Markalov in his final season of F2 racing finishing in P5. But for me again, Russell was the clear and deserving winner. But what was for me the best race of the F2 season for me it has to be the Hungarian Grand Prix and the feature race at Hungary. Not just because of the wet to dry conditions but you did not know who was going to win the race or even finish on the podium. As it literally went down to the finish line at the end of the Grand Prix. And was another example of why F2 has some of the best racing in the entire world. But when it comes to the best overtake only one comes to mind. Of course, Artem Markalov in Austria. How he was able to be that brave and pull off those overtakes at those corners, I don't know. It was beyond belief what he was able to do at that time. 
And that's why we're going to miss Markalov from F2 because he is such an exciting driver when it comes to overtaking and general racing. He may not be the best driver in F2 but he is one of the most if not the most exciting. And his overtakes in Austria just have to be the best. Make sure guys in the comments section you comment down below what was your best F2 race of the season and your best F2 overtake. As I am very interested to see what you guys think. But now the top three drivers in F2 this season, Russell, Norris and Albon now come into Formula 1. And I cannot wait to see what those drivers do at Williams, McLaren and Toro Rosso respectively. Fingers crossed they actually have good enough cars to show us why they are so good. And just so talented. As they are a part of a great generation of drivers. But now when it comes to F2 we look towards 2019. We may be losing Russell, Norris and Albon. But we do have plenty of great new talents on the grid for 2019. Drivers such as Mick Schumacher. And in 2019 I'm expecting another thrilling season. But anyway guys that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys I'll be back tomorrow with another what if video. As well don't forget to join my discord server link below in the description also with my twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and what did you think of F2 in 2018. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazzer HD. goodbye.